Hi everyone! Another day and another video. Today we are talking about the Asian giant toad. Look at the size of this girl. <laughs> These guys are really huge actually. Before you touch them, when you see them in display, uh, you don't realize it. Once you catch them in your hand, you realize, wow, these guys are huge. And uh, yeah, giant Asian toad. They are coming from uh, Malaysia, Myanmar, Vietnam, uh, Philippines, Indonesia. You can find them uh, all around these countries. And uh, these guys are compared to other uh, frogs and, and other toads and amphibians these guys are a little bit more hardcore that means they can um, handle the harsher environment in the places that the other frogs and toads disappeared um, due to uh, pollution water pollution soil pollution and th these things these guys survived these guys are hardcore they have a very rough skin and uh, as you can see I'm wearing gloves handling this beautiful girl uh, first of all the this um, the slime on the body it's um, mildly toxic uh, they are not toxic toxic it's mildly toxic if you have an open wound is not suggested that this uh, that you touch this beautiful toads Wow <laughs> Uh, females are uh, slightly are bigger than uh, males um, and uh, the males have this uh, pad on the finger but this one is a female uh, for uh, mating they produce a large amount of eggs uh, I mean the clutch is over 10,000 12,000 something around there and uh, the babies are black and uh, they are bottom feeders that means the mouse is under i'm talking about the baby toads and uh, yeah their lifespan uh, they live up to 10 11 12 something around there they don't need the uv lamp if you provide for them uv lamp is totally fine uh, feeding them when they are juvenile or babies um, you feed them uh, every day or every other day when they grow up you just need to feed them every once or twice a week they require also calcium that means you have to provide for them uh, calcium when you are throwing the insects uh, you mix the feeders with the calcium and stuff and you throw for them whatever they don't eat you just take it out these guys in nature they don't move much around uh, that means uh, they are staying in one place and waiting for the prey to show up and they catch it um, a lot of researches uh, have uh, been done um, about these beautiful toads and um, yeah uh, scientists know a lot about them wow. they have beautiful eyes I'm telling you most of the time they are night active and that means during the day you don't see much activities in toads uh, what are you doing ah uh, for the water uh, yeah they need water uh, and they need high humidity uh, the enclosure the substrate you have to keep always moist uh, so and like other uh, amphibians uh, they are like I said uh, they breathe through their Ooh, okay. This guy is very strong. Uh, they are um, they are breathe through the skin. So with bare hand, um, please don't touch these beautiful girls or guys. And uh, their legs are webbed. And, uh, but the hands, use as you can see, there is no web on the hands. But you see the legs. They have webs on their legs. Um, wait, I show you the male so you can see. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, and uh, this is the male. Can you see that? Uh, these guys, uh, you can see them uh, up to 1,500 uh, meters um, above the sea level. Uh, that means they are doing also fine in cold weather. That means if the temperature drops to 15, 16, they are doing fine in that temperature. Uh, here is the male one. You see? Uh, you see the size different and uh, the male have a reddish color under the 
under the button um, the female they have less uh, reddish yeah these guys are beautiful like I said uh, for having them in display but uh, like other uh, frogs and amphibians they don't um, they don't like to be touched or handled um, this is how they are uh, you cannot force them and I'm gonna feed them so you can see how beautiful and how amazing they are eating uh, when they are juvenile you can also keep them together in a group they are doing fine they are not aggressive like the other type of frogs uh, they don't start eat each other I mean toads and uh, they are totally fine animals and uh, they have a very large mouth I'm gonna feed them so you can see how they eat This is another female, if you jump, you just give me a heart attack, just jump. <laughs> and you see the orange color under the belly. But like I said, the males are um, smaller than females. Uh, when they grow, uh, they uh, full grown, you can say uh, which one is male and uh, female. And uh, the other thing, the male have this pad here. Uh, in the first finger, I will show you again, the male one. What is it? <laughs> Like I said, they don't like to be touched. They like they don't like to be handled at all. So uh, feeding, <laughs> feeding, feeding. Yeah, uh, you can see here uh, the males have something. They call it. They just she just peed on me. Yeah, uh, you see the males have something here. They call it nuptial pad, and uh, that's how you can. Uh, differentiate between the male and female and the size also uh, you see that this pad here it's here yeah this is how you can say it's a male or it's a female uh, this is the uh, the pad that they use uh, to grab the female during mating uh, yeah and he just peed on me but not a big deal uh, why the picture is blur oh yeah yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, you see this female is already big, so we can feed her with the uh, mice. Come, 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 come. Wow. And you see they are eating very fast. Good an appetit. So for the small one, for the juvenile one, uh, you see we sprinkle the feeders with calcium powder and multivitamin powder and here you go they are eating very fast Oh? <laughs> they make a very funny noise when they are eating. <laughs> One more. Yes. <laughs> One more. One more. Yeah, uh, giant 
Asian toad. They are easy to take care of. Um, they are big animals. Uh, you can have them in display. You can also keep them in group. Uh, when you feed them, the feeding response for the group is very nice. It's like um, they are drumming or something. And uh, they make a very nice uh, noise when they are eating something. Like um, you have, you hear that in the video. But just make sure that the water uh, you are providing for them is uh, filtered water and clean water because their skin is sensitive. Uh, even though they are more hardcore uh, compared to other amphibians, but um, uh, better stay on the safe side. Uh, the other thing, uh, the calcium and the multivitamins, uh, you can um, mix the calcium and the multivitamin with the feeders and throw, they eat, no problem at all. They are great eaters. Uh, you can enjoy watching them eating and they are beautiful. Uh, yeah. And that was for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.